Hi, hi, Astrocats! It is Lazy Cat, and today we are doing the yellow crayon box look. <laughs> So I have pretty much everything I need right here. Also, I tried a new BB cream and I think it either I put too much on and it kind of made me too white or it just doesn't match my color. So if it looks weird, I'm sorry. I told you guys in the last video that I wanted to do a lemon theme and we're gonna keep going with that. Also, I'm not wearing the outfit that I'm wearing at the end because I wanted to do the ending a little bit different maybe more like a lookbook maybe I don't know we're gonna see if I like it or not um, but let's go ahead and get started of course I'm gonna start with my eyes so for my eyes I have the I love you so mochi palette with this really cute shimmery yellow and then I have what is this? Oh, this is Rimmel London. They have like a rainbow palette. And they have like a really light yellow in there. And what else do I have? I have the NYX Ultimate Edit palette that we're probably gonna use it again. And then we have the, the Wet n Wild Rainbow. There's a hair on my face. We have the, the rainbow highlighter that we're probably going to use again, so let's get started. We're going to start with the crease color first because, oh, I should probably prime my eyeballs. Okay, that's done. brush I guess I'm filming this in the morning instead of the afternoon because I work this afternoon and I really wanted to get this video out today so if I seem a little off that's why because it's like nine o'clock in the morning and that's a bit early for me to be filming right now usually I get up around like seven I don't usually get out of bed to maybe like eight or eight thirty but you know, I wanted to get stuff done today. So this is um, the yellow color from the NYX Edit Palette. And I'm just gonna go in that in my crease. That's a little bit darker than I wanted it to, so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend it. That looks a lot better to me. The so, next thing... I'm just a mess. Okay, next thing... That we're going to do is, do I have the right eyeshadow brush? Okay, next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take the yellow from the Mochi palette and I'm also, because I like gradients, I'm going to take the light yellow from the Rimmel London Rainbow. So I'm going to take that light color, put it in like the inner corner, and then blend out with the, the darker one from the Mochi palette. You know what I'm doing. I keep doing this. This is like my go-to eyeshadow look is like a light color to a dark color. Usually it's pink, but this ain't the pink video. So 
I feel really weird. <laughs> okay. some water you know I usually have water with me but today I'm like you know what it's gonna be fine it's gonna be like a quick easy video because I already know what I'm doing side you girl don't know what she's doing and she's filming in the morning and she's not mentally prepared for all this okay Um, the darker yellow pretty much for like all my daily makeup I pretty much use this palette and like my pink chocolate palette oh god I'm really straight up struggling maybe I won't film in the mornings either that or I need coffee before I film either way you guys are getting to see a different side of me okay so now we're gonna do the light one just like, whew, like, you gotta fade it, you know, blend. Blending is your best friend. Ooh, this is the first time I'm using this palette, by the way. Ooh, she pretty. Oh my god. I have to change my battery and my SIM card because I have four minutes on my SIM card and one minute on my battery. <sighs> Alright, so I'm back. I also made myself coffee and I feel a lot better. And now I don't remember where I left off. Okay. So, um, you know what, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go in with the, the yellow color of the rainbow highlight. Uh, where is my little bitty brush? Actually, we're gonna use the big fluffy brush. And that's gonna be our inner corner and our brow bone highlight. I feel like I need to be more creative with these videos because I feel like I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over again, just in different colors. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm not sure. For blush, I think we're not really gonna do blush because I feel like yellow blush is gonna look really, really weird. So I'm gonna take this fan brush and we're just gonna highlight. Oh god, how am I gonna like just get the yellow?
We got a little bit of blue, but I think that's fine. I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Okay, putting on chopstick isn't the trick, but having dry lips is kind of my pet peeve. You're going to take your chapstick cap and your liquid eyeliner, and it is going to help you draw a perfect circle. Why do we need a perfect circle? Because we're drawing a limit on our cheek. Why? Because why not? Again, I'm trying to make these videos not so the same where it's like gradient, colored lashes, weird blush. Like, I kind of want to change this one up a bit. Sort of like how I did with my orange one. I'm kind of using my cheeks as like a blank canvas. I'm pretty much, I like drawing stuff on my face. I do lots of stars and hearts. I want to do like a very OTT sweet Lolita coordinate and have like sprinkle freckles. I feel like that's going to be super duper cute. So basically, you're making a stamp with your, um, your, uh, oh my god, <laughs> with your chapstick cap. So I'm just going to find where I want the lemon. We're going to go right here, because, there you go, you got a perfect circle. Woo! Um, so yeah. So now we're just going to draw, like, the pointy lemon things. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm being really weird in this video. Maybe you guys like that, because I, I, I don't know. But it's really early in the morning. I may not film this early in the morning anymore. I just wanted to do this video because I was lazy when I got off of work yesterday. And I really didn't want to do anything. So now we're just going to draw like the drippy, pointy ends of our little lemon. I hope this looks like a lemon because I don't want to have to fix my foundation after I decide I don't like it. This is starting to look a lot like a lemon. like a lemon I still don't know if you guys can see this I'll probably have to like zoom in and like change the coloring and lighting and stuff but hopefully you guys can see what I'm drawing on my face Ooh, okay that took a lot longer than I anticipated for that to fill in so I'm just gonna let it it dry before I attempt to touch it but my next idea is like why don't we add just like I feel like it's okay to add like a little bit of other colors to this monochrome look because I'm kind of I don't know it kind of looks a little weird when I take pictures so I'm going to do like cute little green leaves I feel like that's cute so I think we're just gonna do like one little leaf friend also, I'm drawing this on, like, the left side of my face, and I'm trying to get you guys where you can see what I'm doing. So, if this doesn't come out cute, I'm gonna be real sad. Okay, that's a cute-looking leaf. 
we're going to go with that because if the more I mess with it, the more it's just going to look like a big chunky dot. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in. I'm not going to make my lips yellow because I don't want to, so I'm taking this e.l.f. lip gloss. It has just a clear gloss with glitter in it. It's called Bubbles. So I'm just going to take that and put it on my lips for my lip part, my lipstick, lip thing. So I also think I'm just going to add like a tiny bit of blush. I'm going to use this NYX kind of highlighting blush. It's a baked blush um, in the shade Full On Femme. Femme? Femme? I can't speak French. I'm only going to do like a little bit. I'm also going to try to like put on blush around the lemon. don't think I'm cheating by using pink and like little things of green. Basically, this look is done. Um, I feel like this look is pretty simple. Um, oh, my eyelashes. We're not gonna do yellow eyelashes because it's gonna look like I have none. I know we've done we've done orange and red. I think the red are my favorite because you could really see them. But looking at the orange cream soda pictures, it didn't look like I have eyelashes. So we're just gonna do like some really simple brown mascara. Back, I went go put on some mascara and a little bit of white eyeliner on, and I had to change my battery again, so I didn't get any of that. But basically, this is the finished look. I hope you guys aren't upset that I used like green and regular mascara, it's just I really wasn't feeling the colored lashes anymore. Maybe I'll do them again once we get to like darker colors, but I feel like for orange and yellow, it's just it. It didn't work for me, so um, now we go on to the cute montage thing. I know it's a little bit different than how I usually do my crayon box series, but I hope it's a good different. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the full one color or a little bit of other colors is okay. I prefer this way, so I think I'm going to keep doing this way, but if you guys tell me otherwise, <laughs> alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Lunar Lazy Cat signing off. Bye! <laughs> it's hot outside. I don't know why I filmed my outro afterwards. <laughs>